news now. The province's amnesty is over. It's deadline day for unpaid hydro bills. And with the prospect of being left in the dark bearing down on those who owe, the Eves government is facing energy problems of its own. Our Queen's Park reporter Mike Wise has the story. Personally guaranteed there's nothing. They came to drop off postcards at Premier Eves' door, a coalition of people urging the province to raise welfare rates to help pay for rent and utilities. They say the rate hasn't increased in 10 years, and with electricity prices going up, it's making it even harder to pay the bills. Who have chosen to do strange things like pay their rent and eat? for the last several months, so their bill has just built up and built up. This winter, the Ontario government prevented electricity companies from cutting off people who didn't pay their bills, but that ends this month. And some companies say some customers owe thousands, and social agencies are scambling to help out. Our office is, uh, the phone has been off the hook all day long. This former law student set up a charity that helps 1,900 families a year with their utility bills. This will be a busy month for him. And our idea will be to provide a little assistance to as many homes as we can who can demonstrate that they're willing to participate in their own uh, self-sufficiency. Uh, we're going to work out payment plans. We're going to get them as much other assistance as we can. But homes, households that are in need have to work with us to ensure that they can make it to self-sufficiency. The government is encouraging those who owe money to at least make a partial payment so that utilities don't cut them off. But at the same time, the government got some more bad news about the overall state of the electrical system, that the province could be cut off unless it comes up with more generating capacity. The independent market operator released a study that says if the Pickering and other nuclear power plants return to service this year and stay in service, they should meet the province's needs for the next decade. But after that, it should start worrying. Some of these units are, you know, 30, 40 years or approaching 30, 40 years old. And what we will need to do is start to begin the discussion soon in terms of what should replace those. And if those nuclear plants don't stay in service, Ontario may have to start building sooner. The Ministry of Energy says in the next few weeks it will form a committee to look at the province's long-term power needs. Mike Wise, CBC News, Toronto. A new plan to help deal with our trash is on the...